What's up guys, my name is Derek. Today I'm going to teach you how to play In Color by Jamie Johnson. This is one of my favorite songs to play at a gig. Probably is one of my favorite songs of all time too. I'm gonna show you how to play kind of that little picking pattern. I've watched a few videos of him playing this acoustically. I said, Grandpa, what's this picture here? It's all black and white. And it ain't real clear, is that you there? So I'm gonna base this tutorial off of some of those videos and then listening to the studio recording as well. Um, there's a lot of nuance playing, so I'm gonna show you the picking pattern that I stick to the most, and then I'll show you how to play a beginner-friendly way as well with just the strumming. So yeah, let's jump into the song. So to play this song, guys, you will be in standard tuning, capo on the third fret. The song is in the key of E flat, um, and the chords in the song are a G, an F, a C major, an E minor, and a D. So to start the verse, the picking pattern that I do, I start out on the G. Six, four, two, three, four, one, three, four, two. And then three, four, three. So six, four, two, three, four, one, three, four, two, three, four, three. Then you switch to the F. And you do a very similar pattern. I'm going five, four, two, three, four, one, three, four, two, three, four, three. And then I'm switching to the C major. And when I go to that chord, and even on the F2, I'm hammering on with my first and second finger on the third string of the second fret and the second string of the first fret. So when I go to the C major, I'm hammering on with the middle finger on the fourth string of the second fret. And what I do is I hammer on. And I go two, three, four, two. Five, four, two, three, four, two, three, and then I hammer on to the third string of the second fret, then pick it open, then I hammer on to the fourth string of the second fret, and then pick the third string open. So all together that sounds like this. So that's the pattern that, that I play for uh, the verses. If you wanted to play a more beginner friendly way, you could just do strumming. So you could go like, I said, Grandpa, what's this picture here? It's all black and white. It ain't real clear, is that you there? He said, yeah, I was 11. So the strumming pattern that I'm using there is just a down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So that's a more beginner friendly way to play uh, the song. And really you could play that whole chord progression and that strumming pattern for the whole song up until the bridge. So that's how you play the choruses and the verses. The verses and choruses are played the same way using that same pattern. So you know, the chorus would sound something like, And it looks like we were scared to death Like a couple of kids just trying to save each other 
So you could do either the strumming or the picking there. When I play it, I play uh, the verses with the picking and then I strum during the choruses. And then the only part of the song that's left is the bridge. Uh, the part where he goes, That's the story of my life. So in that part, you just do E minor, D to C. Then you repeat it. Right there in black and white. And then you end on the D. And then you go back into the chorus. If it looks like we And then you would just continue uh, the final course, either doing that strumming pattern or the picking pattern that we went over in the beginning. I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any other questions or comments or uh, even song requests, please put them in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.